what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video on bitcoin daily i will be going today over the market we're going to do a market recap on what's going on what's been going on this week in the market and um and yeah man that's that's pretty much it so let's jump right into it guys uh please guys make sure to hit that follow button it is a major major key for success if you want to be profitable got to be following this channel also hit the like button that will give you bonus bonus points and bonus profits my bad I just got a call uh it will give you bonus profits make sure to hit that like button and you will make one million dollars one day of <laughs> trading crypto <laughs> um anyways guys uh let's jump right into it man uh let's take a look at what's been going on today and in the last seven days in the market uh, Bitcoin is down half a percent today uh, over the last seven days is up to one and a half Ethereum down almost two percent today um, Ripple down two percent Bitcoin cash down three uh, Binance down three Chainlink up one percent so that's like the rare green so the rare green in the market in the top ten coins today is Chainlink interesting interesting so let's let's jump right into this chart and like you guys remember if you guys saw our last video uh, we spoke about this right here this divergence here that we caught which was um, the price went from a higher high to it went from high to higher wait I, I'm trying to make put it into words right now what's in my mind <laughs> Um, so we had a higher high basically, but on the RSI, uh, the relative strength index, which is a basically a signal of momentum in the market, um, instead of it being, you know, a high to a higher high, it went from a high to a higher low, a low, I'm sorry, from a higher high to a lower high. And this one from a higher high. <laughs> from a lower high these words are like it went from a lower high to a higher high and then from a higher high to a lower high here down here so this was a bearish divergence uh, which we spoke about and which we said uh, that it was gonna bring the price back down uh, it was gonna rest for a little bit it was gonna chill out as everything kind of evened out um, that that is basically a mark of exhaustion and uh, a signal that we need a pullback and you know the the price needs a break because um, the sellers are getting exhausted basically the momentum you see as you can see the momentum was dying and it's still kind of going down so this is a momentum momentum still going down um, and even though the price is just kind of accumulating in the same in this zone right here this range uh, momentum is is slowly working its way down um, so we spoke about that we mentioned that um, and then we also mentioned that um, here if you looked at the Bitcoin futures that there was a gap up right so we pointed out this gap up let's let's take a look at this gap up because it we got pretty close to filling it today so the gap the gap up was from the high of 11205 right and it gapped all the way up over here the next day so what was this so this was over this happened over the weekend so this was on Friday Friday it closed at 11095 Monday it opened at um, 11360 so that was a huge gap up right um, so if you look here this was today we got pretty cool we didn't close it completely but we did come down very very close if you could if you see the low here was um this was yesterday actually i believe uh last night in the morning i think it was um so the low here was 11 to 25 all right um and remember we mentioned this green area this was a the buy zone where we were looking for entries here so we were looking because of the uh, bearish divergence right let's go back to to the Bitcoin chart because of the bearish divergence 
right? This was a divergence. We're looking for a pullback. So we didn't want to buy any breakout entries once we once we spotted this. Um, at that point, we wanted a pullback entry. And we weren't looking at, at the breakout entries. So um, I, in the last video, we spoke about this pullback range where we would want to buy is 11,200. And that's exactly what we got here. So if you guys look here today, the price went all the way down to eleven thousand two hundred and twelve dollars. So that that's pretty much uh, goes back to where that gap up, you know, where that gap is. That pretty much covers it on Bitcoin's end. But we still have we we got very very close. Um, but we st we haven't covered it completely. But we did get we're, we got within twenty dollars. So um, that might be good enough. We just have to wait to wait and see at that point. Um, but yeah, so this level here, this green area, was the pullback entry we were looking for, and we got it this morning. Um, as you can see here, the price was uh, tested at eleven thousand two hundred range um, twice within a four hour period. So that each candle is four hours. We're looking at the four hour uh, candles. Um, so we tested that and we bounced back up. Um, so we're currently at that 11,357 range. All right, that's the current level we're at. Um, and we're, we're watching the, these levels. We're currently in a trade. Um, we did take some profits here close to the 11,400 range, which was our first target. Um, so we took profits um, and now we're holding the rest you know if if we go below below 11 uh, 300 then we're probably selling and looking to buy lower um, so that's currently what we're doing right now with Bitcoin so entries is the pullback range is down here in the 11,200 range um, the second opportunity for entries are gonna be the 11,000 range um, which is over here um, and then after that is 10,800 so on a pullback those are the three levels we're looking at uh, the 11,200 range is also remember it's also it's the pullback right it's uh, the gap the gap up range no Siri I don't want to talk to you it's a gap up range right it is the a support you know we've had support there several times it's been a support resistance zone so there's a lot of price action in that range right that's two things um, the third one, there's an ascending support here that we pointed out. This right here, this is an ascending support from March 13th. So that's three things. And then on top of all that, it is a Fibonacci retracement zone, right? So that's the fourth thing. So there's four different things that are playing as a support here at the 11,200 range uh, that makes it a very, very good and strong support to um, to look for entry. So that's why we're playing that that entry on the pullback. Um, and then on a breakout, we're basically, you're gonna be wanting to look for uh, something above the 11,500 range. The only thing is that there's been a lot of, of fake outs above 11,500, but that still is a breakout zone. Um, as you can see here, breakout uh, above 11,500 will lead to 11,700, which is, that next Fibonacci level um, but also you have to be ready for the fake outs so if you're taking a breakout entry on 11,500 then you're looking for you know 11,600 and 11,700 as your your two targets to take profit on um, so you so you're if if your first profit is 11,600 then your risk you want it to be you know around fifty dollars uh, is your risk on this breakout entry um, so let's go ahead and look over to Ethereum. I, I didn't think I was going to spend damn near 10 minutes uh, on Bitcoin, but uh, we'll just review Ethereum and everything else real quickly. Um, as you can see on Ethereum, there is also the same bearish divergence. Look how there's a, it went from a higher high, a lower high to a higher high, and this went from a higher high to a lower high. Um, so that's a bearish divergence, the momentum going down. Um, so everything's kind of been going down as well. Um, so if we're looking for entries here, uh, our entries here is 360, which is a support resistance zone that we've played several times. Um, and it's also the Fibonacci level right here. 
uh, Fibonacci retracement level. So 360, as close to $360 as possible is our entry here with our targets being 370, um, 375 probably, and 380 are our main targets. Uh, and then the runner would, would be 390. That would be the, the runner target. And then we'd be looking to buy above 400 again for a new entry position there. Um, so that, that would be the breakout. Well, that would be the, the support. Uh, the breakout entry would be above 380. Uh, that's where we would play a breakout entry. Um, Bitcoin Cash. You guys can see here, it's been it's been pretty good. Uh, we're up to 250. Uh, we spoke about this 250 area. 250 is a, is a good area f uh, for a pullback entry here. So um, it's a pretty good entry. However, as you can see the lows right here, so your your stop loss would have to be below the low. So if you're entering at 250, you're talking about a low, you have to have yours around 243 has to be your stop, right? Um, so if you're at 250, 243, you have a $7 stop. Um, your first target is going to be around... So there's a minor resistance at 256, and then the next one is 264, 265. Um, so we're looking at basically, if it's 265, then we have the proper, you know, uh, risk reward for that. Um, but it's if it's 256, we don't have the proper risk reward to take the trade. You know what I mean? Um, so I'd be looking at, um, to get in at 250 and instead of having the stop way down here, I'm gonna just, I'd rather keep my stop a lot tighter, probably around the 249, the 249 is, is very close. Uh, 246, let me, let me see a $4 stop. I would have, uh, I would start, I would use a $2 stop is what I, what I would do. Let me see the, the first 250. The first thing is two. So you could use up to three dollars. So let's see 247. So 247 range is where you would be looking. I would probably go all the way below these two lows. Um, so 246.30 ish is where I'd be looking uh, to set a stop probably. 246.40 is where I would set a stop. Uh, I would be taking profits at 256. Be taking profits probably at 260 and 265 um, so that's the support entry if I'm looking for a breakout entry I'm probably looking above 256 for that breakout entry um, actually above 255 I'd be looking for that um, Litecoin let's take a look at Litecoin here as you guys can see we had that run up and then the drop back down and it's it's just it's trading with it within such a small range that I have not been uh, just haven't had any interest in trading this um, so uh, it looks like this level here forty seven dollars is a decent pullback entry um, you know your if you enter that 47 your first target is looks like forty nine dollars then fifty dollars um, and then 51 and if you're entering there at 47 your stop has to be at least a dollar fifty so dollar fifty your first target is two dollars it's I don't like it that's why I'm not trading it <laughs> uh, if you're looking for a breakout breakout entries is above 50 basically but again I don't like that trade uh, I'm not taking those um, XRP Let's see XRP here. It's been doing pretty good. Uh, it had a run up, um, but it's been going down just like everything, basically like everything else the last uh, few days. Um, but yeah, here the support entry is this 24 cent range. Uh, this is a pretty decent support entry uh, with your targets being 20 looks like let me see your target being around 2460 then 25 cents um 
2540, 2580. Those are basically the targets you'd be looking at. Uh, if you're looking for a breakout entry, probably above 25 cents is the breakout entry, or above this, above 26 cents would be the the bigger breakout entry there. Um, chain link. So chain link, we saw that it, that is the only one that's green today uh, in the top 10 coins. As you can see here, um, it didn't have any bearish divergence here. So you can see lower high, higher high. This was lower high, higher high. So it didn't pop up on the chart like on the other ones on Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, so there's no bearish divergence. It did follow Bitcoin um, when everything went down. So the entries here though are $10. We've spoken about this $10 entry many times. Um, and then the the targets are 11 and 11.50. Um, so that's what we're looking at in Chainlink. Um, Tezos. Tezos has just been going down, man. I haven't liked Tezos in a while, so I haven't traded it in a while. Um, I'm just not trading it right now. Uh, if you're looking for an entry in Tezos, you're looking for something at $2 range. So $2 is your entry here. We spoke about this range many times. Um, if you're looking for a breakout, uh, it looks like 230 is a breakout range here. So 230 would be that breakout number you're looking for, above 230. Um, Neo, Neo has been very weird. Um, we haven't traded it since it dropped under $20. Um, but if you're looking for entries here, $17 is that pullback range. Uh, and you're basically your targets are going to be 1740, 1760, or, uh, 1760 to 1780, your second target, and then $18. Um, if you're looking for a breakout entry, got to get over this, this $18 range. So probably above 1850 is where I'd be looking. Uh, for that breakout entry um, and then the last one we're gonna do is Cardano here uh, Cardano also had this uh, higher high lower high lower high higher high so it also had this bearish divergence on the chart here that popped up which uh, then everything's been going down momentum has been down um, so if you're looking for an entry here, the only, the only entry we've really been looking at is for a pop-up above a thousand. Um, but another possible breakout entry is this one right here, 968. Um, a pullback entry is probably lower down here around 870 range, 900 range. Um, not entering anything in these, in these levels, just don't like it. Um, but 900 is a possible entry, um, but I'm not entering there. Um, and then the last, the last thing that we already spoke about was the Bitcoin futures. Um, you know, we got pretty close to filling that gap. Now, does that count as a gap fill? Only time will tell. We'll see if we could get a bounce back up and finally break up into that 12,000 range. So remember that um, we're on the weekend. Today's Friday. Uh, weekends are always low volume. You know, um, obviously there's there's weekends where there is a lot of volatility and movement <clears throat> sometimes due to news or something like that um, or an event or something um, but for the most part uh, it's usually low volume on weekends so just keep that in mind if uh, entering any of these trades uh, that's pretty much it for us this week uh, thank you guys for the support make sure again like I said if you guys want to become crypto millionaires you have to subscribe and follow this channel and you have to like these videos if not then you won't become crypto millionaires it's just how it works man <laughs> but thank you guys man thank you so much man uh we will be see you guys again next week as always peace and love peace